here are my monthly favorites. So May was a month of much travel. Uh, so some of my favorites are stuff that I like to bring with me on trips. And uh, so I went to Bali, I went to Phuket. And when I travel short trips, and I mean, for some reason, these two trips, I, well, I booked them really last minute. So I, I ended up booking budget flights because normal flights were just way overpriced. Like, I think it was like $600 to Bali. Um, yeah, so when I travel budget, I actually go all the way. I mean, since it's cheap, I just go all the way cheap and I don't even check in baggage. So I make sure that all my stuff is under 100 ml. And so, where is it? Um, this is one of my favorites, except I finally discovered there's um, a travel size version. It's the Percy and Reed dry shampoo. I use the full size ones. Um, there are a few dry shampoos that I like. Percy and Reed's one of them. Chlorine is. Uh, another one. Uh, that's because they don't make my scalp itch and they smell really fresh in a nice way, like not artificial. So I like this because if you've never used dry shampoo, what did I manage to do there? So you kind of use it like hairspray, you lift up your roots and you spray it and it keeps your roots looking fresh for longer. So with my hair this shade, if I don't work out that day, I actually try not to wash my hair every day um, just because I don't want the color to fade as fast. So dry shampoo is a lifesaver for people who also don't want to wash your hair every day or maybe even for friends who wash their hair every day but they have really oily scalps this is kind of nice to freshen up your hair after a long day at work it's it's actually almost done because <laughs> i've used it to death on the past two trips you know what i've been thinking of doing a video on empties which is to show you all the stuff that i use until they empty because i actually quite good like that like i thought everyone used their products till they empty but apparently not because when my girlfriends came over, they're like, wow, you actually use your moisturizer to the bottom of the jar. Yes, it's true. So if you would like to see a video on my empties, skincare, makeup, hair care, empties, drop me a line in the comment box below. And if you know you guys want to see it, I'll film one for you soon. So another favorite of mine um, is Sunblock. And I've tried many, many different brands. But I have to say this is one of the best. Um, it's the Helio Care. Helio Care. Helio Care. Gosh! This is the Helio Care Ultra Gel SPF 90. So it says very high protection, just in case you didn't know that SPF 90 is very high protection. It actually says it on the tube. Um, so I like this because it literally is very high protection. It's not for everyone though, I will say, because um, before using this, I used to use those dry touch sunblocks. You know, the kind where it's like liquidy, it, it, when you shake the bottle, it, it, uh, sounds like liquid paper and it goes on really smooth gives you a really matte finish so I used to use those until um, a skin doctor Dr. Lim of uh, my medical aesthetics told me that it was clogging my pores so there was this period where I kept breaking out and I was wondering why and when I stopped using those kind of dry touch sunblock my skin cleared up um, I mean many people use dry touch sunblock no problem but I have really sensitive skin that is prone to clogging so I've just stopped using that. So on his recommendation, I started using this. Now, um, a warning, this one goes on not as dry touch. Like it says it's a gel, but it kind of gives you a little bit of a sheen. So not everyone likes this. What I do is I, I like it when I'm overseas because my skin gets really dry once we're out of Singapore's awesome humidity. Uh, so for me, it's great because a dry touch sunblock overseas used to, you know, you can really see my skin flake. Whereas with this one, it's I wouldn't say it's a moisturizer, but it feels moisturizing. Uh, but the most important thing is it really protects my skin. Like I spend so much time out in the sun. I know I shouldn't, uh, but I really do. And I use this every day and I use extra layers of it when I'm overseas, especially on beach holidays. And honestly, like I found that it not only doesn't, uh, it prevents me from burning, but it actually protects me from getting darker. Or I darken but just a little bit. So I think this stuff really works. I would recommend it to everyone. Uh, try it out first. If you don't like the sticky feeling after you put it on, what I do is I put it on, I blot my face with a piece of tissue and then I put a uh, dust loose powder on. Done. Right, so another one of my favorites for the month is actually this t-shirt that I'm wearing. It's so cute. It says Cherry Baby. Um, it's from Pomelo Fashion and I actually order a bunch of stuff. So I, I actually have the matching dress. Now there's a story behind this dress. The imps in the office 
pulled like a nerd prank on me. Like it's half pink, half bubble, and they thought it would be hilarious to prank me with this. I don't know, but uh, if you haven't watched it, you can catch it on Della's Instagram page. It was it was quite funny, but I, I okay. What happened was I didn't realize I ordered the same. I mean, the dress is in the exact same material, just that it's half pink. Uh, but no regrets because I really like the color combi. It's this very unusual cherry combi of like pink and blue ish that kind of looks a bit purple when pink and blue makes purple, right? So kind of looks a bit purple from far, but then yeah, close up it's a bit. It's actually like really small pink and blue stripes. Um, yeah, and I think it's it's really cute. It's a really slouchy t-shirt. You can wear it with jeans as I have, or you can wear it with like a cute denim skirt or, or denim shorts. Uh, basically goes with everything and anything and it's great for lazy days. Um, also, it kind of goes with my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Another one of my favorites for the month are these pair of shoes from Lacoste. They're called the Street Set Strap Shoes, so they, they're Velcro. So really easy to slip on and off and you can see there's a very very subtle embossed uh, crocodile on the side. So I really like these because they are really comfortable but also because they come in this really unusual dove grey. I think they just call it light grey but this is what I know as dove grey. Um, I'm a huge fan of this shade of grey. In fact my wedding, my evening dress for my wedding was, was this exact shade of grey. So I was deciding between white which is my favorite color for shoes and for clothes and gray but I thought the gray were really nice and I love these so much that um, I ended up buying them for a friend as a birthday present as well and another friend bought them as well so yeah of course you've done well so another favorite is this bikini that I got from Bali look it's really cute it is uh, actually I wear all I think I wear almost all bikini styles except the ones that look like they are very structured that look like bras because I don't have enough to fill the cups. That's a true story. Um, but everything else I wear, so I, I wear like string bikinis, I wear like halter necks, I wear like the kind that looks very sporty, I wear one piece. Um, yeah, so th th this is really cute because look at the bottom, It's it's got this cute tie. A lot of the tie bikinis are, the string is really, um, it's literally like a string on the side, but I like this because it's actually like a little bow. And it's really flattering because it's cut like a V at the back. So this is great for girls who like me who don't have a curvy figure. Um, every little bit helps. It's cut in a bit more at the butt cheek, so it gives you a bit more of a butt and a bit more V here, so it gives you a bit more of a waist. And it's quite teeny weeny on top. Um, yeah, but I really, really quite like this. I got this from Bali, um, one of the boutiques along Semenyak. Another favorite for the month is actually not a new place, but somewhere I rediscovered uh, recently. Uh, so my girlfriends wanted to meet for breakfast and I suggested, I said, can we meet somewhere near Chinatown? This is near my office and I didn't want to be that long away from the office and so someone suggested Tiongbaro Bakery and guys, I forgot how good the croissants are at Tiongbaro Bakery. Like, I think I, I've tried the other stuff there and I had the croissant with mushroom as well but I'm telling you, just the plain croissant with butter and marmalade is... Ooh. So that's my new rediscovered favorite for the month of May. Did a lot of shoe shopping this month, also because I travel a lot and I forgot I went to Phuket, I went to Bali twice and I took a short trip to JB just across the causeway uh, and I got this, oh my gosh, so pretty right? Um, yeah, so these are from a Malaysian brand, Vinci, and they were really inexpensive but look at that, oh, so pretty. Actually, I think I'll wear them today. So pretty. <laughs> yeah, so I really like these. Um, there's nothing much to say. I mean, they're pink, they're fluffy, what's not to love. They came in, they come in black as well, and I had a hard time deciding between pink or black because, yeah, I, you know, everyone's like, just buy both. They're really inexpensive, but I have no more space. So <laughs> money is one concern, space is another. So I picked the pink because I thought it was, it's just too pretty to resist, seriously. So another favorite of mine is this bag. It is so cute and if you follow me on social media, you'll see it uh, quite a bit because I've been using it to death. Um, it's from Topshop and it's a funny story because I was at Topshop with two of my friends and one of my, my girlfriends decided to buy the bag. I didn't think much of it, um, but she had to go and well, she went to get a reservation at the restaurant. So I said, okay, well, how about you pay for the bag first? 
And so I even stood at the counter and I told them, oh, can you get my friend a new piece because some of the threads are coming out. And they went to get her a new piece and then and I passed her the bag and I didn't think much of it. But I kept thinking about the bag. So strange, I know. Uh, I kept thinking about it and the next day I was like, you know what? I want that bag. So I went back and it wasn't there anymore. I think because they had changed their merchandising. Um, yeah, but then I went back again because I was that determined and then it was there and I, I bought it. <laughs> anyway, it's really cute. It's just like a straw bag. Oh, I actually have stuff in it. So it's a round straw bag and then, you know, it's actually more practical than it looks because it's actually quite well made and it actually can hold quite a bit of stuff like it can actually hold my huge phone, my wallet, my car keys and a few other things. So yeah, I think it's a cute size and a, my current favourite bag. Plus, it's like awesome for beach holidays which is where I've been using it a lot. Also, this style is very trendy right now. This round rattan thing. Um, but it's one of those trends that I think that even though it's trendy now, even when it's not trendy anymore, it'll be okay to use it because it's still quite a classic style. Love it! Last April for the month uh, was watching Swan Lake in Singapore. I know I've watched, I think, uh, at least 10 versions of Swan Lake, um, I mean, since I was a child and now I love watching ballets. I don't have a lot of people to watch ballets with. Um, if you like to watch ballets too, drop me a line in the comment box below um, because like most of my girlfriends, I've, I've managed to drag a couple of them to watch Ballet Under the Stars, convincing them that they get to eat and drink because it's like picnic and outdoor atmosphere, uh, but they went with me once and no one wants to go with me again. Um, another friend of mine brought me to uh, took me to, to watch a ballet for my birthday which I thought was really sweet because uh, I, I don't think ballet is really her thing uh, but otherwise I end up watching ballet with my mom who really likes ballet as well because she's the one who started me on it and I have unrealized ballerina dreams because I'm cocky and tall and after grade one I realized that perhaps sports was definitely more my calling and my mom agreed She's very brutal like that. Um, anyway, I digress. So I ended up watching ballet with mostly my mom and the husband. And I think I've kind of converted the husband. Like he, but he's quite picky, so he'll only watch uh, certain ballet companies. And he's he's very sweet. He's taken me to see quite a few. So this one was by the Russian ballet company. So they came to Singapore and they put up a show. And honestly, it was I enjoyed it even more than I expected. I mean, I expect the ballerinas to be really good, especially the prima ballerina. Um, I've watched her a couple of times actually, but um, what was really cool was they gave Swan Lake a different ending. So if you guys know, um, Swan Lake is actually a pretty depressing tale. Um, you know, everyone dies and then, you know, kind of like Romeo and Juliet-ish, it's a tragedy. But this one, I mean, since it's kind of not in Singapore anymore. I shall just spoil the surprise. It ended on a happy note, which which I really like. Um, purists may not, not like it, but yeah, I really liked it. And yeah, I mean, I thought some of the choreography was actually quite um, refreshing, considering it's a very, very classic ballet. So I would say, yes, by the Russian ballet. I'm just waiting for the next ballet to come to Singapore. Right, so those are my favourites for the month of May. I know I got the month wrong last time. Uh, let me know in the comment box if you have any favourites at all. I will be travelling quite a bit the next few months, so I actually want Netflix recommendations so I can download them and watch them on the plane. Um, yeah, so drop me a line if you have shows to recommend. I don't like horror, I don't like thriller. I kind of only like drama and comedy and like documentary stuff, so... Keep it to these three genres. Um, drop me a line in the comment box below. Let me know what you liked. Recommend me some stuff to try out as well. Otherwise, I will see you soon and I'll catch you again on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Bye! And happy school holidays. I just showed you my underwear. Okay, so I used to use dry touch sunblock. Now, those are the ones where you shake. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened.